Hey everyone, TechRamenter here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to activate eSIM on your iPhone 17 Pro, 17 Pro Max, 17 Air, any of the new iPhone that does not have a physical SIM, you might want to activate an eSIM. So in order to do this, there's a couple different ways to do it. First option is if you have a phone already and you want to move that eSIM over, you can do it really simple or you can do a new one as well, which I'll explain how. First thing, you're going to go to your setting on your iPhone and then go to cellular here. Once you go to cellular, if you haven't set up any cellular, it's gonna look like this. If you did, it's gonna show up a SIM card. You can add up to eight eSIM, I believe. So for example, if I want to set up a cellular one, it'll give me an option to set up an eSIM. So let's see here. Now there's two different ways you can do it from iPhone or Android phone, so that's nearby. So if I do this transfer option, as long as your iPhone when the old one is running iOS 16 or later, you'll have the option to transfer your number. You'll get this pop-up, you'll just hit continue and confirm, and then it'll bring that eSIM over to this new device. Really simple and straightforward. Now let's say you didn't have uh, eSIM and it's very first time you're activating the eSIM, you're gonna use this QR code option and then scan QR code. Now you may be wondering where you get that QR code. The QR code is gonna look something like this. This is something that will be provided to you from your phone carrier or the phone uh, company that you get service from. They'll send you this through email or text it to you or some way they might be labeled on a card if you have that and then you can just scan that to get basically phone service. It'll automatically pick it up. You just have to make sure it's in line here. This is not gonna work because it's not a valid one but then you can add that. Now, for some reason, if it's not scanned, you can also manually add the details. The details are going to be at the bottom. There's three different things. For example, the SMDP address activation code and confirmation code, which they'll also include in case you couldn't scan that, which you can do it manually. So those are going to be ways to go ahead and activate eSIM on your iPhone 17. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.